So this is a fun information that you don't know about Bob and I. This building right here, the round one, is called the Roundhouse. We happen to be here in between international travels, visiting family when COVID hit. Bob actually competed in four Ironmans. All right, we are off on our bikes and we are headed into Madison. We're going to jump one of the trails at the campground here. And it is uh, several miles into downtown uh, State Street is where we want to go in the capital. And we are going to scope out a place for lunch and we will take you along on the ride. It's convenient we have our own air compressor on the van and so when we need to air in the tires or on the one wheels um, or to air down or up the uh, van itself it's right underneath the seat in front so that's super cool to have that convenience on um, the van itself so once we're all uh, um, aired up in the tires we are heading on into Madison So Bob's hometown is Madison, Wisconsin, which is the capital of Wisconsin, and it's on an isthmus which is surrounded by lakes. And as I had said before in my previous video, Madison is connected to various lakes um, within the city itself, and then it goes into neighboring little towns like um, McFarland, uh, over to towards more towards Middleton area um, but I will show you the lake as we go by and the first one that we're going to be riding by is Lake Monona and this path that goes that we're on right now hopefully you can hear me within the wind um, goes around Lake Monona actually but you can take this path right into downtown Madison itself by the Capitol. And I will show you the sights along the way. So here you're getting your first glimpse of the state Capitol on the water. It's a very pretty scenic drive at night with the reflection of the Capitol off the water. And then there's also the Monona Terrace, which is a recently built, probably 10 years ago, building convention center right on the water. It's a Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright design. And I will show you that at some point throughout our stay here. And there's the Capitol off in the distance there. One trivia that people may not know about Madison, Wisconsin, Ironman competition is held here every year. And Bob actually competed in four Ironmans. He did three Wisconsin and one Kentucky. Just like a lot of cities, the railroads aren't used very often anymore. And so they have built housing along the railroads and have built bike paths, which is super convenient for the city itself. Madison is a big biking community. And so it's very supported by bicyclists and the public. This area here is part of the campus as well. It's Gordon dining area for the students or the public. It is open to. These things that you see here are delivery robots. And so they just pack it full of food for somebody who had ordered it. And then it heads on out and delivers it across campus. We're entering the section of Library Mall, which connects to State Street in Madison, which runs straight up to the Capitol. And then it also goes to the left up Bascom Hill, and then straight across is Lake Mendota and 
there is the terrace where all the students hang out and they have great music and there's a beer garden and I will take you there one of these days as well. The great thing about Madison is in the summertime they have these food carts here down on Library Mall and you can see the Capitol off in the distance so this is our stop for lunch. This is Madison, Wisconsin's uh, mascot for the university here. So I had, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it was a Korean uh, burrito, so. Looks delicious. I think I've had it before. Looks good. And my lunch for the day is uh, Korean tacos. It's bulgogi tacos um, with the bulgogi barbecue sauce, bean sprouts, chicken, um, cucumbers, cilantro, and corn tortillas. So I am starving. I'm going to dig in. So the building you see in front of me is known as the Red Shed, uh, of course, because of its color. However, it was built in 1893 and it served as an armory and a gymnasium here in Madison. This is connected to the UW campus itself. It's a beautiful structure right on the water. And then to the left here, this is the terrace, which has a brew house feel on the inside, but it has amazing outdoor seating and iconic chairs that are on the terrace um, overlooking Lake Mendota and I will take you on the inside and the outside um, when we are actually there on foot but maybe today we can ride through on the bike we will see where our agenda takes us so this is a fun information that you don't know about Bob and I this building right here the round one is called the roundhouse we happened to be here in between international travels, visiting family when COVID hit. And so we actually ended up renting from a university student that had to go back to China and we overtook his apartment. And that is where we lived and um, came in between uh, actually building our Sprinter van and coming back and forth and staying here and then going to Bob's parents to work on the van because they have all the tools here and they live in town and so this was a great place to be during COVID and of course it's right on the water here on um, Lake Mendota right on State Street and then we could ride our bike everywhere and walk everywhere and so it's a great location it's generally for student housing and that is where we rented for five months when we were here um, waiting out COVID and building out the Sprinter van. So that's kind of fun to know that about us. And now I'm going to head down to the terrace on foot and I will walk you through the outside of the terrace. This is literally one block from where we were uh, living during COVID. Beautiful setting with all the sailboats on Lake Mendota and on the campus. So this would also be my running path in the morning along the lake. Again, here is Bucky Badger, our mascot of Wisconsin, or I should say the Badgers themselves. Packers are uh, the other um, NFL uh, football team here in Wisconsin. So prior to COVID, you could ride your bike down to, on the front of the terrace itself because there's a bike path that goes all the way out to Peninsula, but they have that blocked off now and no bikes are allowed. So I will get in there on foot one of these days and I will show you the great scene of the terrace here at the University of Wisconsin. Now I'm going to head on down to State Street. Another fun fact about Bob and I, which started almost six years ago, we sold our house and we ended up moving down here on campus. And we lived in this building as, as well. It was called The Hub, which is was a brand new um, building at the time for student housing. However, they were high-end student residencies and they had 
um, these great outdoor seating areas and as you can see they had restaurants below and a coffee shop they had basketball courts they had hot tubs they also have a um, pool on the entire rooftop up there way up there and so in the summertime most of the students were moved out and so we really had the place to ourselves except for um, on hot days then other students would invite students up and there would be huge massive pool parties on top and they would have to call in security but the building itself was really a great place to stay I worked at the University Hospital which is at the end of um, State Street here about a mile and so I would just hop on my bike in the morning and ride down the lake bike path and work at the University Hospital here because we had six months left before we were actually giving up everything and retiring and heading out on our nomadic life. So that is the building that we used to live in as well. And there is the Capitol. It's a beautiful walk up State Street and then you see this at the end. I'll take you a ride on the outside of the Capitol. Hopefully my battery does not run out. I only intended to come in from lunch and do some filming, but I thought this would be a great opportunity to film while I was riding the bike. So you would think after all of these videos that I have done that I would have taken a spare battery with me today. But the intention was just to hop on the bikes, go into town for lunch, and then come on back. But I did have the camera with me, and so I thought, well, this is a great opportunity to um, show you Madison and show you the bike path and how we get there and the um, iconic places in Madison. And just like I said, when we were up at the state capitol, the battery died on me. So. I hope you enjoyed the portion of Madison that I had showed you today um, after uh, our lunch and on the way into town. And now I'm back in the van. It was a great time in Madison and getting lunch and um, riding around. It's a beautiful day out. So I had a great shower here at the campground. Next up for me is going to be doing some video editing and then um, making some dinner. And for the rest of the time, we are going to be visiting friends and family um, this afternoon. So we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please leave your comments below. I love the comments and I have been getting a lot of them lately and I will absolutely respond to you. So we will see you in the morning. Thank you. Thank you.